Welcome to GST 203, Introduction to Philosophy and Logic, Module 2, Unit 2, Medieval and Renaissance Age of Philosophy. In this unit, we shall discuss the age of philosophy that follows immediately after the ancient age. This age is called the medieval or the middle age. We shall also discuss another age of philosophy that almost submerged into the medieval period, that is the Renaissance age. Medieval or Middle Age. This period was around the 11th century when there was a renewed flowering of thoughts both in Christian Europe and in Muslim and Jewish Middle East. Most of the philosophers of this time were mainly concerned with proving the existence of God and with reconciling Christianity and Islam with the classical philosophy of Greece. Islamic philosophers. Avicenna is one of the great Islamic philosophers of the medieval period. He tried to reconcile the rational philosophy of Aristotelianism and Neoplatonism in Islamic theology. He also introduced the concept of the tabula rasa, the idea that humans are born with no innate or built-in mental content. Other Islamic philosophers are Averroi. He claimed that Avicenna's interpretations were a distortion of genuine Aristotelianism. Christian philosophers. St. Augustine is one of the Christian philosophers. To him, since God created all things and God is infinitely good, how then do we explain the existence of evil in a world that a good God created? He was the first philosopher who introduced the problem of evil in the world of utmost importance. Other Christian philosophers are St. Anselm, St. Anselm is best known as the originator of the ontological argument for the existence of God by abstract reasoning alone. There are other examples of Christian philosophers in your course materials. Kindly refer to your course materials for these examples. Renaissance Age. This age is classified as a period of revival of classical civilization and learning, which occurred in the 15th and 16th century. It was the age that brought the medieval period to a close. It was marked by a movement away from religion and medieval scholasticism and towards humanism. Major philosophical figures of the Renaissance were Erasmus. He attacked many of the traditions of the Catholic Church and popular superstitions. Others include Niccolo Machiavelli, Thomas More, Francis Bacon, in conclusion, from the above discussion, it could be said that in the Middle Age, philosophy was made to be subservient to religion. The philosophers of the age were predominantly religious fathers who employed philosophy to teach religious doctrines. However, the Renaissance philosophers were those who delivered philosophy from the aprons of the religious fathers to which it was tied. They gave philosophy its freedom and made rationality its basis. Thank you.